Hello everybody and welcome to another Token Daily episode. Uh, this is one that I was hoping I was not going to be doing for a little while longer, at least not using my own plants anyways. Uh, today's episode is dealing with spider mites. I found um, just a minor minor infestation on my recently transplanted clones. I found it out about them by looking at the tops of the leaves. I saw that there were a bunch of small white dots and this is the primary indicator of having spider mites. What they do is actually suck the chlorophyll out of the plant. So uh, when you see these dots, that's evidence of them feeding on your plants. What you want to do then is flip the leaf over, look at the bottom of it. Um, this is where the mites usually romp around. Um, they don't really like the bright light, I believe. I'm not sure if it's the light or the intense heat from the bulb. But like I said, they usually chill on the bottom of a leaf. So flip it over and if you have a pet, if you have pets and you're used to looking for fleas on them, uh, looking for spider mites is really not a whole lot different. Uh, the spider mites don't jump around as much as fucking fleas do, but they're just as goddamn annoying. So what you want to do when you have mites is um, give your plants a good neem oil spraying. I buy a bottle of neem oil that's somewhat concentrated and I mix that properly with water pop it in the spray bottle and just give them a good dowsing. With some plants um, that don't have any buds on them at all, you can just take your plant and actually dip the entire thing in a neem oil bath. That accomplishes basically the same thing as the spraying, except it's probably just a little bit more thorough. Now, if you have older plants, uh, ones that have a bunch of buds on them, or even little buds, I don't really like spraying the buds with neem oil just because it doesn't harm it that much. Neem oil is completely natural, but anything you spray on the buds will, in the end, take away from the final product. So, the way of getting around that is being extremely careful. I put some gloves on and I put some of the neem oil solution in a dish right next to me. I'll dip my hand frequently in the neem oil or sometimes I'll have a little sponge with me and I'll just rub the neem oil on each leaf individually, making sure to rub it on the tops and the bottoms, because like I said, they really walk around on the entire thing. I'm pretty sure they come on the top of the leaf to feed, and then they go on the bottom to lay their eggs, and that's just where they naturally live. Eggs you won't see much of on this video. I don't have any on these plants that I could see, and I'm... Uh, and I've got a pretty good eye for looking at those, but you will notice them um, They are just really really small about a quarter of the size if not smaller of an actual mite and they're just little white balls so That's all I got for you today um, I hope that none of you out there have to deal with mites if you do Please please get rid of them as soon as possible. They are absolutely no fun to have in your garden